Democrats in the Texas House of Representatives staged a walkout over the weekend just moments before a midnight deadline to pass the voting laws. And President Biden has not been silent on the issue at all. In a statement on Memorial Day of all days, Biden called the bill an assault on our democracy, and then he went on to call it wrong and un-American as well. Yeah. Well, of, of course, all of the other Democrats and the left piled on and piggybacked on his thoughts. Here's what some of them had to say. And that's not something that happens in our country. That's something that you think about happening, you know, in Zimbabwe or Venezuela. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the poll tax 100 years ago was somewhat innocuous sounding. The, the literacy test, the, the counting the number of jelly beans in a jar. But in every instance, they were used to try to stop black Texans and, and African-Americans throughout the former Confederacy from being able to use their rights to vote. This bill is so explicitly discriminatory that it's embarrassing. And the mainstream media, Sean, is echoing the same rhetoric. Yeah. Take a listen to this. Odd. Texas Republicans finalized a bill overnight to make voting rules there even more restrictive. The president called the proposed law an assault on democracy that is wrong and un-American. When the uh, overall conversation among Republicans is uh, about the, the imagined threat to uh, election integrity, all right. And by the way, did you see this? Because during a speech today, President Biden announced, well, guess what? As if she didn't have enough jobs, Vice President Harris will lead the push for voting protections in response to, quote, fight voter suppression laws. Yet another title that she can add to the ones, including the border and unions. Uh, I can't even remember. American some, job plan. Yeah, America's job plan. <laughs> now firsthand into this horrible, horrible voter law that's going down in Texas and the massive controversy that's brewing there. Let's bring in our company right off the top, Texas Congressman Chip Roy and the chairman of the Texas Republican Party, former Congressman Alan West. Thank you both for being here. Thanks so much, John. Pleasure, John. Lindsay. Can I just start really quick with a yes or no question, Congressman Roy, because and then I want to get to the substance. Just to be clear, every single Texan can still vote the way they could have last year, the year before. Nothing is being done, yes or no, to restrict a single citizen of your state from voting. That's absolutely correct. When Texas does its job, it passed this legislation. And I just hope Vice President Harris is effective uh, at H.R. 1 as she is at securing the border of the United States. All right, so, so now let me get into the substance of this. You've heard all of these nasty things that they've said about it being restrictive, tightening this, Jim Crow 2.0. Tell me what the reality is, because the way I see this is not the way that the left and the media are depicting this. Congressman Roy. No, that's exactly right. I mean, look, if requiring voter identification is somehow racist and restrictive, the Delta Airlines and American Airlines and Major League Baseball are engaging in some sort of discrimination. And it's absolutely outlandish. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And for the president of the United States to call this an assault on democracy, let's talk about the assault on democracy of leaving wide open borders where cartels have operational control of our border or abandoning the core strong democracy in the Middle East, Israel, uh, or, you know, allowing inflation to run rampant. I mean, we've got a uh, assault on our democracy every day under this administration. Texas wants to pass common sense laws to have voter identification, to have mail-in ballots that are uh, tied to a voter, uh, specific with identification, to ensure the integrity of voter rolls so that our democracy can actually be protected by knowing who is voting and being very specific about that. There's nothing more American than making sure the integrity of our elections is protected. And we as Texas need to lead. And with all due respect to our legislature, they need to get the job done. I hope the governor calls a special session immediately and they get move forward and pass this law immediately. Colonel West, the left is calling this restrictive, but when you actually look at Biden's home state of Delaware, they don't allow early voting right now. They will in 2022, but at that point, it'll only be for 10 days. So where's the outrage in somewhere like that? People are freaking out about Texas, but there's so many other states, even our own presidents, that don't have the same type of voting right now. Well, you're absolutely right, Lindsay, and the hypocrisy is truly laughable. And when you think about what is undemocratic, just read H.R. 1, because the federal government does not have an enumerated power in the Constitution to nationalize elections, which is exactly what they're trying to do, is to dictate to all federal, uh, all 50 states 
how elections should be run. No voter ID, no review of voter registration rolls, the fact that you want to have online voter registration, things of this nature. And so we have to protect that system. And for these people on the left to talk about voter suppression, everything that you just saw in that clip with Robert Francis O'Rourke, those were Democrat policies. The poll taxes, the literacy tests, Jim Crow were all Democrat policies. Here in the great state of Texas, the Republican Party of Texas was founded by 150 black men on Independence Day of 1867. The Democrats created the Ku Klux Klan to keep blacks from being able to vote coming out of the Civil War and getting their freedom. So again, this is a bunch of over-the-top over rhetoric. We have to be concerned here in Texas, as Congressman Roy just said, when you have an open borders policy, undemocratic, uh, unconstitutionally implemented by this administration, how do we make sure that we do not have illegals that are voting? Voter registration rolls need to be reviewed. We don't need to have unsolicited mail-in ballots being mailed out without any type of signature verification. Those are common sense corrections to what we saw happen in November 2020. Congressman Roy, let me ask you this. It feels like we on the right are getting behind this argument. I played a bunch of those clips of what the folks on the left are saying. Lindsay showed you what some of the folks in the media are saying. How do conservatives get ahead of this message and talk about strengthening integrity and making sure people don't cheat and actually, in a lot of these cases, expanding the opportunity to vote? Well, uh, look, Sean, I think uh, the colonel just said it very well. I mean, what we're dealing with in Washington is the federal takeover of elections. And if they do that, they're going to prohibit the ability of Texas to ensure that all Americans, all Texans, can know and have faith that their ballot, their vote counts. That's fundamentally what's core at the, and at play here. Uh, if we have the federal government coming in and saying we can't use voter identification or we must use a certain number of mail-in ballots, then we start to lose faith in our elections. And we want every vote to count. We don't want to have votes coming in that aren't supposed to be counted, therefore diluting the votes of Texans and, importantly, making sure citizens vote. I introduced a bill to require to ensure that uh, USCIS would absolutely guarantee that they would work with Texas to provide the information to ensure citizens only are voting rather than just agreeing to do it. We would require it. That's what's fundamentally important. And the American people agree with that and believe in that. You know, Colonel West, Sean and I were talking about this earlier, but the pandemic allowed us to enact certain emergency procedures for voting access. But how much of this wouldn't have even have occurred without a global pandemic? Well, if you go back to last year, April the 14th of 2020, Eric Holder, who is the chairman of the National Redistricting, uh, Democrat Redistricting Committee, wrote an op-ed piece, and the title of that op-ed piece was how coronavirus should permanently change elections in, the, in America, in the United States. And what did he talk about in that op-ed piece? Universal mail-in ballots. So using the mantra of Rahm Emanuel, never let a good crisis go to waste, that's exactly what the Democrats have done. And that's why they continue to try to keep this whole thing about coronavirus and a new phase and the next phase going, because that's what they want to do. And anyone will tell you, if you want to see instances of voter fraud and cheating, it's with these universal mail and ballots that are unsolicited, that are mailed out, voter registration rolls that have not been reviewed. Look at what happened in Pennsylvania. 1.8 million ballots went out, 2.5 million came back. It defies common sense to think that that wouldn't happen, right? You send out these unsolicited ballots and no one tracks them and you wonder what's going to possibly happen. Congressman Roy, you mentioned get it, the legislature doing their job there in Texas. Where does this thing go from now? Texas Democratic legislators walked out of the state house. How does it get done? Well, Democrats walked out on doing their job. I think the people of Texas will see that and, and that will shine through and they'll recognize what we need to do in 2022, which make sure we elect even more Republicans. But you know what? Republicans need to do their job. We went through an entire legislative session and we didn't get it done and we let it to the last minute. So we allowed Democrats to exploit it. And so the governor needs to call a special session. The legislature needs to get together and they need to pass a good, solid reform bill. You can start with SB7, maybe make a few more tweaks. But we need strong reform. Let me let me just tell you, it's going to happen. It's going to pass because I assure you the people of Texas are demanding it. And there's some other things we ought to be doing uh, when we have a special session. But right now, let's make sure we get, ele uh, get election reform passed. I agree. Force them back. I know the governor's trying to take their pay away if they don't, which is brilliant. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here and breaking this down. I appreciate your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Sean. Take care, Colonel. You bet.
Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.